Well, Natasha Denman here at the Ultimate Body at Aorta. It's early Friday afternoon, so I'm wrapping up my week. It's pissing down here in Melbourne. I don't know if you can hear it, if I'm really, really quiet. Uh, but it's just mayhem outside of my office window. So today being the last day of the week, I thought I would come uh, on live with this particular topic of important considerations when pricing your book and ebook, actually, um, uh, for that matter. So I'm going to start up from the cheaper version and work my way up to the more expensive one, which is your paperback, and give you some food for thought in terms of pricing your book. If you do have any additional questions to this, please um, post them below or give me some love and love hearts and some comments or thumbs up as I'm going through this live. All right, so let's start off with the cheaper version of the book, the ebook, because the ebook, obviously, delivery of your ebook is not going to cost you any money to get it to somebody. Um, however, uh, of course, you want to make some money because you've written this book and you don't want to just give it away for free because uh, often people may not um, value it as much and go through it if it's given away for free. Now, there are situations, so we're going to start off from the free option. And yes, you can give away your ebook for free. And often when I do it, my whole reason behind it is for lead generation. The other night I was at a speaking gig. For one of my authors and I was talking about branding and all that kind of stuff and basically um, uh, in order to capture some people's details that are interested in what I do or to further build the relationship when I spoke I said look guys these are all the 10 books that I have written I put up a PowerPoint slide and on that slide I put my mobile number or my personal assistant's mobile number and I said you can pick and choose one of these 10 books that you'd like to have a read of uh, whatever topic you're interested in because there was a variety of topics I've written on and just text this number with your name your email address and which book that you want. The next day, we'll send you the ebook um, as our gift to you, which meant that, of course, we now have that permission to stay in touch. And uh, of course, they can unsubscribe at any time. I was completely transparent and told them exactly what I was doing as I was doing it. So, this is also a different way. This is also a way that you can um, promote and actually uh, uh, position your book on other platforms and actually your ebook I'm talking about and actually put it up for free. So um, uh, with Amazon, something you just got to be aware of, you cannot have your book on there permanently for free. Um, they have this uh, setting called KDP Select to be part of that and I believe off the top of my head, I think you can run about five free days every 90 days. Um, don't, um, I might not be correcting this. If you look it up, you'll be able to find all the rules. I'm just going off the top of my head because I have done that once before. But there are other platforms where you can upload and have your book there on ebook there for free. Now, um, having your ebook for free, of course, the main purpose and reason uh, apparently it says uh, that um, uh, free books or ebooks or books in an ebook version uh, get downloaded 50 to 100 times more when they're free versus when they're paid. So that's the whole reason why you would give away your ebook for free is lead generation when you're speaking offline events um, to build a relationship with someone um, and to have it online and perhaps when that. So now if you are going to give away your ebook for free, say on platforms like Amazon or or um, Kobo or any of the, those places, make sure that inside your book you have a call to action somewhere quite early on in the book, not at the back of the book, but somewhere early on where people can go and get some additional resource as a bonus. So in my um, latest book, which I'm about to release very, very soon, so I'm not going to show you it yet, um, I have got just before chapter one a downloadable additional resource that is for the value. So when they download uh, ebook for free and then they go grab their, um, you know, they, they get to the free, freebie option, they go, oh, okay, I want some more info, so therefore they're going. So that's how you actually get leads. You don't get it because they've purely downloaded it off Amazon or another platform, but they, you get the lead if they follow your call to action inside the book because people who buy your book through Amazon or other platforms, uh, you're not going to get their contact details. That stays in those particular platforms. You just get know how many people have downloaded. It. So that's the reason for doing a free, uh, putting your ebook for free. Now, the next uh, level from that is 99 US cents, and you may have seen this being promoted around social media or when someone is launching a book. 
And 99 US cents is, uh, US cents is the lowest paid amount you can put your ebook ebook on uh, Amazon. And uh, by doing this, you give yourself the best chance uh, to get uh, uh, end up at the best seller status on uh, the. Uh, it's pissing down the rain. It's so loud here. Oh my god, <laughs> Jesus! I don't even know if you guys can hear it. Um, but 99 cents uh, gives the least amount of price resistance, which means more people are willing to check it out and support you or get their hands on your book. And that means your ranking will go up there for your visibility will expand and, um, and, uh, and push out. And that's exactly uh, what I will be doing very, very soon with my new book for like I say 24 hour period is just put it up for a really low price point so that I can run the best selling strategy to do with Amazon and, um, and I guess increase the credibility of the book. I call bullshit on all the bestseller stuff, but actually I do know how to go around it and execute that particular strategy. Therefore, I do do it So because a lot of people ask me, how do you do it, how do I do it? And because I did it for one book, I thought, okay, let's see, maybe that was a fluke and I'll get it done one more time. All right, so that's the 99 cents. Uh, so again, it's not a money-making um, price point. It's again uh, to get as many download, uh, downloaded units so that you can push for that bestseller status on Amazon. The next price point is to um, to decide on is to do with royalties, right? So with royalties, um, you have um, uh, two ranges in Amazon. You've got the uh, zero of uh, 99 cents to 2.99, and then you've got your 2.99 to 9.99 US dollars, and then you've got above. So we're above $9.99, and in this low low bracket of 99 cents to 2.99, you get um, set, uh, sorry 35 percent royalties. Whereas if your ebook is priced between 2.99 US and 9.99, you get 70 percent, which is double in terms of the royalties. So that might be a consideration to keep your book just under 10 dollars um, uh, on there uh, if my authors don't tell me um, either way I generally will put the book at 9.95 US as the ebook version right all right so now let me go through all right so now we're gonna move on to the paperback version I've got a couple of notes here in front of me I wanted to make sure I cover everything off for you guys so with the uh, paperback book um, the initial the first time you're gonna have to price your paperback book is at your pre-release um, stage so you should at least run a 12-week pre-release campaign and by running a 12-week pre-release campaign you can pre-sell as many books as possible so that you can um, actually get some return on investment in terms of your money that you're paying out towards the publishing of your book right and normally like every book shapes and size is different so I'm not I'm not gonna talk about all the different types of books. Like obviously, if you're doing a hardcover book, it's got a lot of photography in it. It's got, um, it's quite complex. So you're writing a training manual style big a book. I just recently, um, uh, in, someone engaged me to do that style book that, that's going to be almost A4 size and it's going to be more that training style manual. And she said, look, I'm, I'm planning to sell this book at about $79.95 because it's training manual style for, for her industry. And I thought, well, um, okay, that's that, that kind of makes sense um, to price that book there. But when we're talking about the standard paperback books that are about 40,000 words, six by nine size, uh, normally we say about $19.95 at pre-release with $5 postage. That is if you obviously have, will have access to upload your book. I feel like I'm speaking over the rain. It's so loud. I can hardly hear myself speak. Um, so uh, you... Um, you will put five dollars postage worldwide because if you have access to print on demand, they will be able to print, print, ship, and send, and your postage is not going to vary too much uh, from wherever you're sending it. So whenever I sell my books, I just put five dollars postage, and because I go into the print on demand channel and I order the one book and I post it directly to the person, they print, pack, and send. Therefore, I'm not worried about um, you know, am I going to the local post office, putting up, uh, you know, sending it to this country, that country, because where we are in Australia means that uh, our postage is through the roof when it comes to sending books anywhere outside of Australia. 
So that's how I do it. And I, in, within Australia, I'm happy to send them just from what stock I have because there is prepaid five dollar envelopes here that you can buy that are suitable for a book, um, and that's cool. But whenever it's anywhere outside, I'll go directly into my print demand system and order it directly. So it, I don't even need to handle anything, and my assistant can do that work um, as well. So normally, when I do pre-release, it's nineteen ninety five plus plus five dollars postage. At the top, on top of that, I highly encourage if you want to push for as many pre-release sales is that you do uh, have some kind of an additional bonus that people will get for being one of the first people to support the release of this book. So what is it that, that you can give people? Could you send them the si a signed, special signed copy of the book? Is there an extra downloadable resource they will receive? Will they receive a little bit of time and you're depending on what your book is obviously uh, about? So what is it that you can add on to actually encourage people? Because people often like, want that instant gratification. I'm gonna buy this book, I wanna get it yesterday, right? Uh, rather than waiting for three months for it to come out. But I can guarantee you people who love you, trust you, are part of your network, they're supporters, they'll be following you, they will um, know that you're going to follow through and will support and encourage you on the journey. I know this because all my authors pre-launch their books on their Friday night of retreat and they get a ton of free sales, which means that they're also committed to those people that they have promised the book is going to um, come out in, say, the next three or four months. Okay, so then the book comes out. Uh, certainly then you change your price point, you adjust it everywhere you have been promoting it. And I uh, recommend $29.95. So $30 plus your $5 postage and that's kind of where you should leave it on your website. For uh, uh, some reason or another, you can um, alter this, whatever you want to do. If you want to leave it at $20, leave it at $20. Just be mindful where your profit margins lie. Just know your numbers uh, of or how much it costs you to print a book and all that sort of stuff. You may have seen a lot of entrepreneurs out there say, get a free book, and then you go to get the free book and you get charged shipping of $9.95 or whatever that is. That is also a strategy. It's a strategy for lead generation, once again. They're covering all of their costs by charging $9.95 uh, US most likely. Uh, they're most likely going to cover the printing and the shipping of that book through, say, um, a print and demand facility. So uh, in, in fact, the only thing actually they're paying is for the ads that they're putting out there, uh, whereas the person who's getting the free book is actually covering off the other costs. That's kind of the strategy of what they do when they offer their free books. And it's great if you want that book, it's, you're still getting it at an, an amazing, amazing price point. So, so, so just think about how that works and, and make sure your number crunch before you underprice yourself. Now the last place that I also want to uh, remind you of is obviously you are going to be out and about meeting people and probably having some books and maybe you'll do some events. Now when I personally do events, like the other night as I was saying, is I uh, always offer all my books at $20 because I'm there in the room, I don't have to spend time posting them out, um, you know, people are there, everyone's got a $20 note in their pocket. So also think about the um, uh, note the denomination that we're working, you know, the $20 note, the $50 note, all that sort of stuff and make it simple um, so that people can just, if you're removing sort of the resistance. When I, I used to sell them for $30 and when I registered for $20 in all my events and speaking gigs, I would say, look, if you go on our website, you'll, you'll need to pay $35, $30 for the book five dollars postage you're here in the room grab it for 20 you get to take it home today i can sign it for you and all that sort of stuff and um and that way my sales increased probably by uh 300 i would say uh from selling one book to sell starting to sell 10 15 books or whatever because it was that perfect price point for, and note that people might have in their pocket to uh, to buy a book. So that's something also to consider. We give a discount when you're live in a room. Same thing as when we run events. Uh, when you run an event, if you make a special offer, it is because you've run that event and um, it's there for the room for a particular, you know, fast mover kind of price because you've put in a lot of effort to be there. So you want to come out with a result. So was there something else? Bundling. Okay, if you have more than one book, um, you know, will you offer a special bundle if a person wants to buy every um, every title that you have? That has happened to me before. Uh, or will you give like sell three, get the fourth one free, and all that sort of stuff? Uh, and we already covered off your um, your website and um, and if it's a training manual kind of stuff. So I hope this live has been valuable as to how and where 
um, you should uh, think about pricing your ebook and your paperback style book. Um, and of course, always, always do your number crunching in terms of what is it costing you in time and money to create the product um, and therefore to sell it. So have an amazing weekend, everybody. Um, stay dry because it's going to be a very wet weekend here in Melbourne. And I will see you guys on Monday with another insight around book publishing and um, book writing and marketing. Talk soon. Bye.